If you're looking forward to sell your products online like Canva templates, this video is for you. Today we're going to talk about licenses, where to sell your templates and how to create these templates and the actual product that you are going to sell. This video is going to be full of interesting tips so I recommend that you guys stay until the end and if you guys are interested in this tutorial let's go to my computer. First of all, let's talk about licenses because this is a very sensible topic and I know that there is a lot of confusion out there. So I want to let you guys know that I am not a lawyer, but I did my research before filming this video and I found a couple of articles that I believe are important to mention in today's video because we're talking about the topic. So I found this content license agreement and in here it says that all content on Canva and by content it includes templates, all content on Canva is protected by United States and international copyright. Canva and its contributors reserve all rights that aren't explicitly given to you under this license. That includes all copyright and intellectual property rights. That means that the people, the designers who are creating the templates that are available in Canva, they have all copyright and intellectual properties to those designs. So that means that you cannot simply just use a template that is available in Canva, change the colors, change the fonts and resell them as your own. The designers, they have the rights and they can actually file a complaint against you. So if you are planning on selling your own templates, your own digital products, start from a Canva blank document and start creating your designs from scratch. I also found this article under the terms of use and it says that except for the user content you provide to Canva, user content means your own content, except for the user content you provide to Canva, all materials on the service are exclusively owned by us or our licensors. Don't steal any of the content that is helping you make fantastic designs. So I believe this one is very straightforward, so I'm going to stop with the licensing stuff in here, but I'm going to leave you guys the links in the description in case that you want to read them and go into detail on those. Now let's talk about where to sell your templates. I'm going to give you a couple of different options, but of course these are not the only options that you can use to sell your templates, but this can give you some ideas on where to start. The first option it will be to create your own online store and I believe this one will be interesting if you already have an audience and you can promote your templates to your audience. Like this, you can bring all this traffic that is already interested in your templates and then they can buy them directly from your store. This option will be interesting as well if you know about buying ads, basically bringing paid traffic to your online store. If you don't have an audience and you don't know how to buy ads, you could open a shop on a marketplace like Etsy or Creative Market. So let me show you first how Etsy works. If you go to Etsy, you can actually buy Canva templates. Let me show you. And there are a bunch of different creators selling their templates at the moment. If you go to Etsy.com and go to the end, of the page you will see a section that says sell, sell on Etsy. If you click on sell on Etsy they will take you to this landing page where you can actually get started and I of course would recommend that you read the whole page and understand how this program works. Now let's talk about creative market. In here you can also find Canva templates and as you can see, there are also a bunch of different creators selling already their Canva templates. If you want to open your own shop, you will see this button on the top of the page. When you click on it, it will take you to this landing page and from here you can open a shop. If I'm not wrong, you will need to present your own portfolio. So I would suggest that you start first creating your own portfolio create amazing designs 
because I know that Creative Market, they are very particular with the creators that they accept on their program. So work on your portfolio before applying to open a shop in here. You can read more about this project in here on this landing page. These marketplaces are very interesting because they already have an audience that is searching for content to buy. So actually you have more chances of being found without having to promote your own listings. Another way to make money with Canva is by being a Canva creator and this is still a beta program in Canva but I know that they have a waiting list so if you want to apply you can do it in the link that I'm going to leave in the description of this video. Canva Creators is a group of designers creating templates that will be available in the Canva marketplace and they also have their own profiles. Um, one of them and that's why I have my own Canva profile. I could go into detail about this program in another video so if you want to learn more about this let me know in the comments. For the moment I'm going to continue with the video so I can show you how you can actually create templates in Canva and what is the thing that you actually sell and people will receive when they buy your digital product. Now let's talk about what you could create to sell and how to create these templates in Canva. So I am here on Creative Market and let's try to see what is already available in this marketplace. If you go to the search bar Let's type Canva templates or Canva template and here you will see that creators actually offer bundles of templates. So they will offer 2,498 templates, over 400 templates, 600 templates plus. So you know that you will need to create a big bundle in order to compete with these other listings. Let me see what do we find on Etsy. So Canva templates or template and here you will find as well a bunch of different bundles let me see so yes 250 10 100 67 300 so this is a very basic process that you can follow so you can have an idea of what kind of bundle or what kind of digital product you can create that is attractive to your potential customers so let's say that I want to create a bundle of Instagram posts that I want to sell on one of these marketplaces. If I want to make a template out of this design, I'm going to click on share on top of the screen and from here select share a link to use as template. This option actually before it was available only for Canva Pro users but Canva actually freed up this option last year if I'm not wrong. So now everyone with a Canva account, it can be a Canva free account or a Canva Pro account can create templates on Canva. So this is pretty cool. Once you have selected share a link to use as template, you click here copy link and then you should already have another design ready. I already have my design ready here. I created an A4 document. I designed a very simple cover. This is just to show you guys what you can create. And then on the second page, I created this. So a basic title and then I created these two buttons for me to be able to add the link to the template that I just created. So I'm going to click on it and then select link and paste the link to my template. Okay, so now this text box has the link. I'm going to remove the underline and now I'm going to show you how you can actually create this button. So let me delete the second button. I'm going to add a text box and then uh, type access post number two. You can change the font if you want, you can change the size and then the trick to make this text box look like a button, go to effects and select background. From here you can adjust the settings and you can change the color of the background as well. So I'm gonna go for this one. And I added a couple of spaces at the beginning of the word or the sentence. So I could have an empty space in here to add my lock icon. So something like this. 
you can make it bigger if you wish and then go to elements you can search for open lock this is just an idea you can do it your own way you can create a very fancy design if you wish <laughs> and let's position this lock in here you can change the color and then once you have your button ready you can select the items and duplicate them with this button duplicate and like this you can create the rest of the buttons of your bundle okay so we delete this i'm gonna duplicate the first one and i'm gonna say access post number two i already have my second template ready here so let's go again to share share a link to use as template copy link and do the same process link i'm gonna remove the link that i had before and paste the new link remove the underlined on my text and that should be it if you want you can add a last page where you thank the person who bought your product and you can also if you want promote other digital products that you have available on your shop once you have this design ready you should have a couple of hundred buttons here because if you want to be competitive if you want your product to stand out in the marketplace you should have a couple of hundred templates right i just have two because i just want to show you the process okay once i have this design ready i click on this arrow pointing down select file type and then pdf standard select all pages and download so this is the PDF that people will receive once they buy your digital product. So they will receive this PDF and they will see here the access to every single template. Of course, you can customize the copy that you are going to insert in here. If you want to be more precise and you want to explain people what to do, then you can put it in here. Then people can click on these buttons and they will have access to the templates that you just created. So let me open the second one and let me show you. It says a template created by Diana Munoz was shared with you, start designing now. And then they can use the template from here. They can access the template and they can start customizing it. I also suggest that if you are going to create templates to sell, that you use free elements available in Canva and also free fonts, because if the person who buys your Canva template, if they don't have Canva Pro, then they won't be able to download the design for free. They will have to pay an extra cost for every single premium item that you include on the design. So that is also something important to have into consideration. If you want to learn how to create an Instagram puzzle that, by the way, you can sell as a Canva template, I'm going to upload a tutorial next week teaching you step by step how to create these kind of designs. So if you are not subscribed yet, remember that you can do it now and hit the bell button so you receive a notification once that video is up. On the other hand, if you want to discover more ways to make money with Canva, you can watch this video right here, very recommended. And I'm leaving a link here so you can enjoy our 10 Canva courses for free. In these courses, we teach you things like how to create thumbnails, landing pages, animated stories, all these kind of projects that you can sell as Canva templates. So you can find more information in here. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I wish you a nice day. Bye.